Hey guys, it's John Botel, uh, and as you can see, we are inside the Convertery funnel. Um, once again, the one that I've been showing you guys uh, all about, uh, all these amazing features inside Convertery. Um, and so what we're going to do today is we're going to go back in to the uh, main offer here uh, and kind of continue where we left off from the previous video that I recorded for you guys. So as you can see, we're kind of at the beginning of a squeeze page. I mean, this was created in just a matter of minutes. Uh, took no time at all. Would have been even quicker, by the way, if we'd have used one of the templates, but um, I wanted to show you building from scratch. Now, one of the first things that I want to be able to show you guys is actual um, the ability that Convertry has to understand your needs when you're building so that you can speed things up. And what I mean by that is the way that it groups things together automatically based on where you place them on the page. Now, as you can see, we have this kind of uh, translucent panel here with some elements within it. Now, Convertry is intelligent enough to understand that if we're going to move that panel, we probably want everything that's inside it to move at the same time. We don't have to do any grouping or anything like that. Convertry handles all that in the background automatically. So what we can do is when we bring the elements within a panel like this, it allows us to very quickly move them around as a whole rather than having to move them individually. So what we can do is we can just pick up this panel very easily and just move it wherever we need to, left or right or up or down, very, very simply. Obviously, we want it central on this particular page. Uh, but if we want to hit the individual elements and move them, we can do likewise. We can just grab them individually. But Convertory is smart enough to understand that we are only wanting those individual elements. So that's a huge time saving. If you can move things in groups like that without having to spend time grouping and ungrouping, um, all those little things add up very, very quickly, believe me. Now, uh, what I want to show you now is how to actually hook up the video um, to go in this element here, because that's just the standard stock image for the element. So what we do is we click on that element, and as you can see up on the left hand side, we have um, the little uh, uh, YouTube URL. Um, and what we have to do is actually get another YouTube URL and replace what's already there. So just let me open up a new window. We'll jump across to YouTube, and we're just going to grab the first one that we see here. So um, uh, we're just going to go into this uh, Sherlock Holmes one right here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to grab this URL. I just copy that, and then I can shut that down. And I just paste it in here in Convertory. And as you can see, it populates immediately. I can then have the choice whether to autoplay or not autoplay. I'm going to leave it on autoplay. And that's it, your video is in. Okay, what I want to show you guys now is how do we get the form elements in there? Because uh, it's not very much uh, a good squeeze page unless we have a place for somebody to enter their details. So I'm just going to stretch this panel down so we've got room. And all we do is we go across to our form insights here, drag an element in, drag another element in, and then we just move them where we need them. Now, as you can see, these both say email, but that's actually just the default tag that the, uh, the, the form element comes in with. We can change that to absolutely uh, anything we want it to say. I'm also going to want a, a submit button, so I'm going to drag that in and just make that the same width. As you can see, everything snaps to the grid, so you can make sure that everything is the same size. And now I'm going to change the name of this particular field from email. I just go up to the top right-hand corner here, and I'm going to change that to name. Perfect. Now we have name and email, and I'm just going to change the uh, background color on the submit button, make it uh, stand out a little more. So all I do is go to properties, change the background color, and I'll probably want to make this um, something more kind of orangey colored, make it pop out from the screen. There we go. Now and I want to change the text on that to make that stand out as well, so I go across to this section and just change the font color to white. So there we go. That is uh, nice and easy, couldn't be simpler. Um, but now we need to figure out how we actually um, hook up those forms to an autoresponder. Now, Convertry has its own um, library that you import your forms into from GetResponse, from Aweber, wherever it is. You just grab the HTML code for that form uh, from that autoresponder, and you build up your library within Convertry. So you do it like this. You just hit the new form button, 
You give that form a name so that you're going to be able to recognize it. And then you paste the HTML in right there. And again, you get that from GetResponse, from Aweber, from Sendlane, wherever your autoresponder is held. Uh, for the time being, I've got three set up in here already, and I'm going to use just this one for now. So I just hit the Use button on the right-hand side. Okay, now all I need to do now is click into the Form field, and then I go up here to where it says Assigned From, and then I change that to First Name, I go into the email field and I change that to email. And there it is, simple as that. That is now hooked up to work with my autoresponder. Really couldn't be any simpler than that, could it? Very, very quick, very, very simple. Okay, so what I want to show you guys now is uh, another really nice feature because we all know that scarcity works in marketing. Uh, and it works in all aspects of it. And one of the nice thing about Convertery is it has its inbuilt countdown clock. So you can just drag in that element, pop it onto your page, and then go up to the left-hand side and uh, change it to the date you want it to. So let's change this one to the Convertery launch date. So we're gonna do uh, the 26th. Uh, we're gonna choose uh, the time zone. So it's gonna be GMT minus five, which is just there. Uh, the time it's launching is at 11 o'clock EST. And there we go, that shows us that we have exactly 23 minutes and 36 seconds left until the Convertry launch time. And uh, I can obviously uh, re uh, select the type of clock we want. We have a simple one and they have a more kind of animated graphic clock. But really for me, all I want is the simple um, regular countdown clock. Um, and we can resize that as well to make that um, fit a little better within that space. The other thing if you'd want to do it is uh, if you have an external countdown clock that you would like to use and you can get HTML code for that, you can just add that with an HTML element. You see I just resize that slightly and there we go. And we save that and we publish it and that's now live on the web. But let's have a look at how the mobile version looks. Okay, it looks pretty good um, but it can do with a little bit of tweaking just to make it absolutely perfect. So we just move this up, and a lot of this comes down to personal preference as well. Uh, I like the, um, uh, the the form elements to be a little bit inset, not full width that way. Um, so we can just um, make them exactly as I would want them to see. You may not want them that way. But this is the great thing with Convertry. It allows you this flexibility to be able to edit up this mobile version of your site so that it displays absolutely perfectly to your liking on mobile. Uh, and as we know, Mobile is such a vastly important part of, um, of internet marketing these days that it is just imperative. So if we go back, uh, and that's it guys, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you today. Now, remember, Convertry launches tomorrow at 11 a.m. EST. But if you wanted to see more of the features, wanted to go really in depth to some of the, um, the things that you can do with Convertry. I would encourage you to sign up for the pre-launch webinar in which the Convertry team is going to take you through absolutely the whole thing. They're going to actually build a whole funnel in front of you. So you can see absolutely everything that this incredible system can do. Now that um, pre-launch webinar is going to be going on at 10 a.m. tomorrow. That's 26th of July, 10 a.m. EST. The way that you can get on that is just follow the link below this video. That's going to take you to my bonus page. Hit the buy button. Just ignore the fact it says buy. You're not going to be buying anything right now. Uh, the cart isn't even open. But what you can do, that's going to take you to the pre-launch page where you can sign up for that incredible webinar. I really do encourage you to do it because you're going to see way, way more about the wonderful features that Convertry can offer to you and your business. So thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you then.